Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ready City Play, where it's chapter one, scene one of Fog of Love, the love story of Sam, Sam the insurance agent with bedroom eyes, long blonde hair, and an old cell phone, and me, Joe, the advertising manager with hairy armpits, who's not very stylish. <laughs> <laughs> what a turn off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this. Well, here's the thing, though. We met at a No Kids Wanted speed dating event, and mm -hmm. the fact of the matter is, people, that uh, at this we're both 30 somethings uh, yeah. and we might have missed all the good choices, and now we're just left with, left it with each other. Whatever's left over, yeah. <laughs> that shelf is we're no longer empty. looking for Mr. Right, we're mis looking for Mr. Close enough. Anything there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Not Completely Awful. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, before um, we left you yesterday, I, uh, Sam had to decide um, whether he, she, wanted to reveal what was the stupidest thing. They've ever done, if anything. They, we could probably use ambitious they? pronouns, couldn't we? Yeah. Whether Sam wanted to reveal what the stupidest thing they've ever done is. Mm -hmm. Might be that they don't, just don't want to. But I've made my decision. Now, remember, if you say I've never done anything stupid, that doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean, it's mean that it's true. Correct. It just means that that's what Sam says. Yes. So. All right. Reveal to me, Sam. Ta da! C. I once peed on a radio getting an electric shock. Yep. Um, I was at university, lads together, girls together, you know what happens, dares come out, you have a few drinks, dares come out, thought it'd be funny, ended up in 80. That's pretty fucking stupid, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that... something I've still not told my mother. <laughs> so you're going to put out a couple more of your tokens I there? I will. One down on discipline and one down on curiosity. Yeah. Up on curiosity. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's out of character for you, Sam. <laughs> Not what I expected from this person who I'm still discovering things about. Yeah. All right, and then I get a new scene card here to replace that one. And during the first chapter, we're going to be drawing from the sweet deck, but things will get more serious and dramatic as we progress. Yeah. And then it's over to you. So. To play the next scene. Uh, the next scene. I think I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to play this one. Just finding out about you a bit more. Joe, I'm going to play the most romantic... What's the most... What's the... Ro God, get my teeth in. <laughs> Sam can't clearly read. <laughs> Spent too much time drinking at university. Can't read. Not a deal breaker. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty desperate. Can insurance agents read? <laughs> no. Okay. They don't need <laughs> What's the most romantic quote? Perhaps we have the same favourite. Both choose. A. People call those imperfections, but no, that's the good stuff. B. Love never. Love means never having to say you're sorry. C. You will never age for me, nor fade, nor die. D. You are not too long. If if you are not too long, I will wait for you all my life. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and. The good news is that if we don't match, there's no penalty. Mm. But if we do match, Michael, we're happy about it. Yeah. Sorry, Sam. Sam. <laughs> yes, Joe. I hope we match. Trying my to... piercing eyes staring into your bedroom eyes. Come into my room. That's not <laughs> bedroom eyes. <laughs> That's like deer in a headlight eyes. <laughs> bedroom eyes are like sexy eyes, right? Yeah, That's yeah. That's like, so like, like yeah. Come to my room. I don't know if I can do sexy eyes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not for camera. <laughs> no, no, not when I put it on the spot under pressure. Then I'm just like, headlight eyes. I'm like, <laughs> come to my bedroom. I think I know what, uh, I think I know what Joe would pick here. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's <laughs> <laughs> made for each other. Oh, Damn, so, we are hot. <laughs> love means never having to say you're sorry. Yeah. And so... I love it. 
Uh, you, as the player of the card, get two happiness, and you get to draw a extra sweet scene, so you've got more choices. And I get two happiness as well, because I am pleased about this. So do I pick two now, and I discard one? No, no. So you'll just have six in hand. And it just means you'll have more scenes to choose from as we progress through the game. Okay. Right. Cool. I picked two. Ooh, okay. So, I'm going to play Close Your Eyes. Can you guess where I'm taking you? It's our third... No, it's not our third date. Uh, second? In fact, it's our, I guess this is our second date. Because uh, during the first date, we just discussed the stupidest things you've ever done. <laughs> we yes, could have discussed, discussed that at the... Uh, at the um... And the actual event. That's what I mean, the speed dating. Yeah, speed so dating. the speed dating's gone well. Now I'm taking you somewhere. And you have to guess where I'm going to take you. Is it a secret garden party? With, and also, I will actually pick where I'm taking you. Yeah. And it could be a secret garden party with famous people in Champagne. Mm-hmm. It could be... Uh, I forgot where we're going. Or it could be <laughs> to the local square to listen to the street storyteller's sentimental love stories. Mm. I hope you take me somewhere nice. I'll take you somewhere that I like. <laughs> <laughs> Better be good. No, I also need you to like me because I like your long blonde hair and bedroom eyes. Well, I hope you take me somewhere where I can admire your hair at pits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will wear a tank top. <laughs> uh... Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Yes, yes. We're going to see all my famous friends that I met from my ad campaigns, and they were like, you are not stylish at all. Come to my party and make me look good. Oh, great. I love it. Maybe I can sell them something. So that's we are we are stoked about this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can sell them insurance. <laughs> Sam, I hate it when you try to sell my friends insurance at the party. Never miss an opportunity. <laughs> um, oh, also, we get uh, an extra version token. There we go. Cool. All right, Excellent. cool. I get another scene, and it's already cool. So I'm going to play this one. Your clay, your clothes make me look great. <laughs> <laughs> no, they make no one look great. <laughs> but I can pull it off. <laughs> look at this. Your clothes look better on me than they do on you. So partner chooses. Your clothes make your partner look amazing. How do you react? That's great. But could you please stop using my clothes without asking me? Uh, wow, you look incredible. Like a hotter version of me. Or, you think so? To me, it looks like you're pretending to be something you aren't. Stylish. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) wow. So... (laughs) That is hilarious. (laughs) Um... Because I'm totally unstylish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be quite funny. <laughs> quite amusing. I think this is how Joe would react. The answer might surprise you. Yeah. Ooh. I love Are you surprises. Ready? Come on. Sam, Sam wants to know. You look incredible. Like a hotter version of me. Oh, really? <laughs> you do. So you gain three happiness and we get a sincerity token. One, two, three. <laughs> Cool. And then I pick a yep, sweet scene. Yep. All right. Now I'm going to play this one because I think it would be hey, hilarious uh, to play early in the. So this is going to test, test how we deal with. Uh, it, what are we, are we? No, we've got one more scene after this. Yeah. Facebook drama. <gasps> Your mom's friend just posted pictures of us us on Facebook. She's claiming you're possessed by the devil. She's revealing facts about her Uh, private life to everyone she knows and asking them to pray for your conversion. This is insane. What? So We need to have a chat about your mom. We can start a... um, uh, This is... uh, Wait a minute. This is my mom's friend. Oh, your mom's friend. Yeah. This is my mom's friend. She's Mm. claiming I'm possessed by the devil. And revealing photos of our private life to everybody. So we can start a shouting match on Facebook. We can call her out and let her know how we really feel about her. Mm-hmm. Call her and try to explain in a calm way that what she did was unacceptable. Or do nothing and hope that the whole thing blows over sooner rather than later. And we both choose. Okay. A drama. <laughs> a drama. 
Mm. Mm, I think I know what uh, uh, Sam would do about this. God, what's your mum's friend doing on Facebook anyway? Are you ready? Yeah. Boom. Boom. We call her and tell her how we really feel. We are so uh, insane. Insane. This is insane. Uh, <laughs> All right. Cool. I love it. So we matched on B, which means we both gained two happiness. So we're going to call her and let rip. We also <laughs> have to both put a doodad down here on, uh, what is that? So we both, we both get two? Yep. Yeah. Cool. So I guess because we didn't um, censor ourselves, we both become down here. Okay. We both do. Yeah. Okay. So because we both picked that. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, two <clears throat> happiness, right? So that's yep. ten. That's good. So I, I've done mine. How come you have so much more than me? This is outrageous. Uh, because I got... Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah. That's, I got some more. Right. It's all about time. you. It's fine. Uh, I think you'll find it's, that's true. <laughs> Um. <laughs> I just drew a card and it's like the answer's so obvious oh, really? <laughs> come on Sam what are we going to do now we need something to clear our heads from this drama drama well I'm going to put an interesting combo out there because I think it'd be, I really want to get to know you a bit more and this can get over our drama but I want to know do you believe in ghosts <laughs> <laughs> This is important to me. A mutual friend says, I've seen something strange. A shadow, perhaps. Mm -hmm. More like a ghost. What should I do? Uh, How do you both react to your friend? Relax. It's just your brain brain Mm -hmm. playing tricks on you. It's probably just stress. (laughs) That's funny. Perhaps you should check your eyesight or your brain. I've also seen a ghost, but that's some years ago. It will do you no harm if you're pure in heart. Hmm. Hmm. Now, this is very interesting. Why? Because Sam is going to have a very different answer to what Michael would have in real life. <laughs> um, well, Joe's pretty clear. He knows yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. Joe decided to show a bit of sensitivity here. Oh, really? He said, relax, it's just your brain brain playing tricks on you. It's probably just stress. Oh, well. Sam yeah, you was, were quite Sam, derisive. Sam, Sam was just like, you need to get over it. <laughs> well, that's okay. It was okay. a bit... Was a bit we're like, still sort of on the same page. I just decided to handle it a bit more tactfully than you. Mm-hmm. It's probably because I don't know your friend as well as you do. Yeah, that's true. You know, so I wasn't... I didn't want to be totally dismissive of your batshit crazy friend. Yeah. <laughs> And then, do I put one here? Because I've picked that. Yep. Cool. And then, uh, because we matched on A or B, we both get a happiness. Okay. That's not too bad, then. All right, cool. Did you draw a sweet card? Uh, I did not. And now, the chapter is is over. Concluded. Interesting. And it's time for chapter two in this love story of Joe and Sam. What's going to happen next, peeps? Grandparents meet. Ooh. We're glad that all of us are finally meeting, and you're such a lovely couple. Dear grandchildren, so what are your plans in life? Both tell a bit about your two present grandparents, and then discard two scenes and draw two new ones. All right, so that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that... uh, We've only, it says about your two present grandparents. I guess. So we have one each? <laughs> I guess we have one each. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing about Joe is that all, uh, Joe's parents are dead and so are his grandparents. He's only got one grandparent who raised him mm-hmm. or her, who raised them. Um, and Joe is actually quite, you know, has this sort of, uh, like, because I grew up in, I talk, I'm talking about the grandparent here, not the character of Joe. Yeah. Right. So it's my grandfather, and he's very calm and very sort of together. Mm-hmm. He fought in a war 
and then had to do lots of sort of recovery. Mm -hmm. And that process has led him to a very sort of down-to-earth, no-nonsense, but also quite sensitive, wise take on life. I see. Well, that's interesting, because I think my... I've only got a nana left, but my nana has always been my favorite, and my nana has indulged me and spoilt me over time, really. I'm, I'm clearly her favorite of the six grandchildren that she's got, and so I can do no wrong in her eyes. Um, and so whatever she uh, thinks, um, as long as I'm happy in life, uh, whether she think and what I ever want to do as long as I'm happy, then she'll allow me to do what I wish without reprimanding me if it's not necessarily the right thing. Now we have to discard two scenes and draw two new ones. She had a hard life. She had to go down pit. <laughs> <laughs> She's also a no-nonsense northern woman. <laughs> Um, so, what goes on now? Uh, we are discarding two scenes from hand and drawing two new ones. Ah, okay. And so if it's too sweet, I pick up too sweet? No, you can pick up whatever you want. So I can just discard well, two... Well, you can, you can only draw from the sweet and serious decks. Correct. But you can draw too sweet or too serious or whatever. Okay. And then we carry on. Cool. Uh, discard. And I'm going to pick... A sweet. Did you pick two? Yep. Did you, what did you pick? I picked one sweet and one serious. Well, that's exactly what I was going to do. We're still in sync. <laughs> we still are. So, now that uh, we've done that, we have to talk to our grandparents about what our plans are our in life. life. So, um, the responses are, not to be rude, but we want to live our lives a bit differently than in the old days. First of all, we don't want any commitments, you know, like kids. Or, everything about your lives is so amazing. There's just so much love. We want to live just like you did, just without kids. Hope that makes sense. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what... Mm, I think I know what Sam would pick. I'm pretty sure I know what Joe would pick. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, now, this is interesting, because what happens here is we retrieve a random destiny and then discard unconditional love. So what you're going to do is go into your destinies here. Yep. Um, but don't. Um, so just give them a shuffle. Yep. And draw a random destiny. Oh, I see. The destiny. Yeah, because it says retrieve a random destiny. Ooh. I have not even thought about the destinies. I've just been living my life. I've just been, yeah. Life is for the moment. I mean, though. that's why I don't want our kids. I just want to live my life. Yeah, totally. So I, I'm going to pick one. Me too. Yeah. And now, if you've got unconditional love, you put it into your discard pile, and you will do, because we started with it. And you put it in the discard pile. Interesting. Mm. All right. And now what happens is we both gain two happiness. Mm Mm-hmm. Cool. And that is that. So cool. So now we're ready we to begin with the first scene. Yep. Tomorrow we will. I will. I'll show you what the scene is. Cool. So I'm I've so excited. Decided mm-hmm. to pick for the first scene of chapter two, masquerade, wherein we play scene cards but swap around the player and partner, Ooh. which means Michael will play a scene card as though he is me. And I will play a scene card as though I am Michael, which can lead to some pretty interesting interactions. Yeah. So. That is what's called a situational scene, which means nothing happens yet, but will impact the next, this in this case, the next two scenes. So we'll both do this for one another. Mm-hmm. And then I can have a serious or sweet. I think that uh, because I'm not a serious person, I think I'll just take a sweet scene. And then we'll be back tomorrow to find out what Michael wants mm-hmm. to do for his masquerade scene. And by Michael, I mean Sam, of course. I mean Sam, Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. Sam. <laughs> so, if you're interested to see what happens to Sam and Joe and how these two are actually going to... Get on. Get on. I mean, it seems that we're very much in sync, but mm. I don't really know what our destiny could be, so... Me neither at the minute. It's still quite a fair game. Yeah, it seems like we're both interested in not having a relationship together. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we're both quite content. Yeah. In... <laughs> 
yeah, basically just like like double, using each other. <laughs> yeah, using each other for you know our long blonde hair and hairy armpits, <laughs> <laughs> and then just discarding you for a while. It's all about money and physical appearance. Mm-hmm. But that suits well, me fine. That suits me fine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fog of Love. See you tomorrow, everybody. See ya. Right. This is really funny. <laughs>